pertaining to uh, Moodle. Oh, so okay, that's what I thought. All right, so our mask is Ramon, and Ramon is here, which is great. And I hope you're wearing a headset. Let me know, because if you're not wearing a headset, we may echo. All right, so let's see, where are you from, uh, Ramon? If you could add that in the chat. And I'll do my best to... Uh, Pass on the tools to you. By the way, I mentioned this a few times. If you want to have a really, really good connection where the bandwidth uh, is less of a problem, then uh, you're invited to use WizIQ Desktop. All you need to do is simply, there we go, simply Download it, and it's really a great experience for those of you that are using it. I can actually see that we have a uh, Arabic writing. I'm not sure where you're from. If you could add that, I only see, I don't read Arabic. I wish I could because it's such a beautiful um, language. I'm not sure, Ramon, why you um, stopped the video because we really do want to see you. I think it's important uh, in these presentations that we actually see the presenters. And then I'm going to mute, take myself off anyways. But it's good to see the presenters. Okay. Yeah, we hear you. Hello, Ramon. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we hear you very well. But we don't know very okay. much about okay. you. So what, are you going to have to introduce yourself? Okay, so I know let Carlos. Me, let me introduce myself. All right. So, so um, go ahead. I'm, 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 I'm the CEO of Waris. So Waris is a, a math company. We've been trying to help uh, solving math uh, education uh, problems or trying to help people uh, working on the math education sector for 15 years now, I believe. Yes, it's 15 years now. Uh, we basically work with uh, integrating our solutions into different learning management systems. And that is uh, mainly Moodle, Sakai, and then also the big commercial learning management systems as well. Okay. So, uh, well, I, I will I will try to, to get uh, as much as possible um, people um, well, getting feedback here, so I'm I'm not really used to WiziQ, so it's it's not like I'm not so uh, proficient in using it. So I, well, I'll I'll try to do to do my best. Uh, I think Neely was asking uh, our person from Arabic uh, uh, if you are. Uh, where are you from? It would be great to to hear. And then, uh, well, we'll 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 see. In any case, uh, so let me try to introduce myself here uh, with a little briefing of of the of what we have. So, where is this? As I said, a, a global solution for mathematics education. Uh, what we try to do is offer uh, three tools, uh, basically. Uh, I will speak today about our Moodle solution, but uh, our solutions are also available for Sakai, as I was saying, also in Blackboard Learn and some other uh, learning management systems. Uh, we recently integrated into Canvas, for example. So well, that's, that's, a, that's a, what we have. So as I was saying, we basically have a, an equationator to create math formulas, an online calculator, to create, uh, to basically do uh, online calculations. And finally, and that's what we should be introducing today, we have uh, what we call various quizzes, that's basically an upgrade to, to model uh, quiz system to create math and science questions, to easily uh, randomize the content of those questions, and to easily uh, automatically grade the answer of, of those questions by, by students. 
see uh, here at, as you can see uh, well we have been integrating the solution into into Moodle and I, I believe it's it's well integrated we we typically follow the Moodle versions so uh, all Moodle versions since 1.9 or 1.8 I believe 1.8 I would say have our tools integrated there and if there is any release in Moodle we simply have a new version of our solutions to realign to with the Moodle development okay um, just to give you an idea I think we have we have customers using um, Moodle solutions from Alaska to Bahamas uh, all around the world and we, 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 we have we have a lot of model community and we are really interested in solving any issue that appears in our tools for models. Okay. Uh, so first of all, I, I need to explain you a little bit. I, I know we, we have uh, on the idea is showing you and explaining you about our uh, quizzes solution, but it's important for me to give you an overview of, our, of the other tools. Otherwise, it's very hard to understand what what various uh, quizzes is. So what you see here in, in front of your uh, in front of you is Wireless Editor. Wireless Editor is uh, basically our math editor for Moodle. Uh, obviously, in, in the screenshot, it's not easy to <laughs> to see, but there is a main difference between uh, Wireless Editor and book editor at uh, Moodle called DragMath. DragMath is based on Java technology, so you need a Java applet to, to run it. In the last month, there's been a lot of, I would say, fighting between Java uh, people and browser people. So most of the Java applets around have uh, real trouble to, to run on a, on a browser. So you're, you're not only getting problems, obviously, to run uh, the math editor inside a tablet device or, or an iPad or whatever. But now you're really having trouble to, to run uh, Java applets in, in a regular browser. That means that, as simple as that, the default math editor in, in Moodle doesn't easily run in many devices. And it's bringing a lot of trouble to a lot of people. Okay? Our solution is based on JavaScript. That means we don't have all those problems. And it's well integrated into into Moodle. Okay. So as, as I was saying, uh, visual formula editor uh, with an icon notation is compatible with a browser. And I and I forgot uh, to mention about accessibility. So um, we have been making a, an important effort in two ways. First of all. Um, Accessibility in terms of producing content that is accessible. So every time that we produce a math formula, we generate an alternative text uh, to that formula so that blind people and other uh, people with disabilities can access the content. And also the fact that the tool is um, de developed with JavaScript technology makes it far easier for uh, the software for disabled people to move around the web pages to to move around the math editor. Okay, the, you you're never hundred uh, percent fine with accessibility, but I think that we have a, a fairly good solution in terms of accessibility. Okay, and finally, and it's not here because we we didn't expect to get uh, Arabic in, in people on the discussion. We have. Uh, an Arabic math editor, an Arabic version of the of the editor. I, I think we lost our our Arabic person, but uh, well, I see Kamar El Ayudi. So well, if if there is some time later on, we can we can show the Arabic editor uh, briefly. Okay. Uh, CAS is just a calculator. A few screenshots for you to have an idea. So we, we can make calculations. We can make graphics. We can make three dimensional graphics. Uh, it's simple. Um, it is based on it's it, it is a it, it has a Java applet uh, interface. So all the bad things I was saying about DragMath, I have to repeat them about uh, why we CAS. 
we are working on a JavaScript version of it. And we will have it pretty soon. But just to give you an idea that we have an equationator, and then on the other hand, we have a math engine that is able to do sophisticated calculations. Okay. And well, it's covering basically secondary uh, university, first year of the university. And as I said, we also have interactive calculations there. Okay. And finally, we have uh, this tool that's the aim of, of the current presentation. It's called Wire Squeezes. Basically, Wire Squeezes, as you can see in the screenshot, is um, a tool that has questions. What we are doing is, first of all, allowing uh, open answer to the question. Okay, so you can give a, a question, as you see on, on the screen, where you ask for the expression of a tangent line, and you ask the students to fill in the answer. So they don't have to, so they cannot simply choose between two or three options. They, they have to fill in the, they have to fill in the answer. Okay. Um, Okay, I, I'm, I'm, it, it's hard for me to, to follow the discussion in, in, in parallel on the chat. So if, if I know if, if you want me to, to summarize uh, it at some point, I, I will try to, to do it. I, I, I'm briefly seeing, for example, there is some question regarding Hebrew. Uh, I was mentioning that we have support for Arabic. We also have support for Hebrew. Um, I see also someone from Romania. We just translated to, to Romanian two or three days ago. Um, and well, I think that's uh, most of, of the, the questions I can, I can, I can see, I can see in the, in the chat window. Okay, so uh, I, I'll try to. So I, this is just a PowerPoint. I, I guess that we will be able to, to share my screen. So I, I'll I'll go through through it uh, slowly as, as in the next minutes. Okay. So well, basically, Kisses is is a, a new bunch of, of questions um, that um, in, enhance the model existing questions with math uh, cap capabilities. Okay. Uh, I would say we allow random variables, and then we also allow a mathematical evaluation of those uh, questions. We also have some syntax checking on the on the answers, and well, that's basically it. I'll try to to go into into the demos now. Okay, it's going to be easier. Um, okay, so I'll start sharing my screen. Um, hope. Will it work? It's Java based, so it should work if you're a Java person. Uh, <laughs> I used to be a Java person. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm moving away from from there. Okay. But uh, there's there's always there's always a fight in the last years on Java and all that stuff. Um, are you seeing my? Uh, not um, yet, but it sometimes it takes time. It depends on your well, system. All the system. Yeah, that's why it's such a great idea. You can download well, it, with IQ it's, Desktop. Uh, it's always. Uh, okay. Uh, mm. Okay. Uh, uh, support. Um, support here. Did it work? Or? Me, uh, sorry for for that. I I I, I, I was not aware of of, of that. Uh, that I I I didn't test that functionality. Unfortunately, uh, support is here. Um, yeah, support is here. And that was the reason why I wanted you to connect with them because they usually check all the system. You're right. There was a fight, Ramon. Ramon is right. In the past uh, couple of uh, weeks with uh, Java, 
Apparently they upgraded and messed up a lot of systems, including the screen sharing system. Um, you were supposed to downgrade Java in order to be use, to be able to use the screen um, on WizIQ as well. So I'm not sure um, if what version okay. of Java so you have, let's, let's, but if you upgraded it, let's, let's try to do, it could be problematic. Uh, let's try to do something else. I'll, 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 I'll do something very fast on another computer. And I'll try to also uh, use the offline version. Uh, possible. Uh, uh, a few seconds. Uh, okay. So well, uh, let's uh, let's try to do it some way. Um, well, excuse me. Sorry, everybody, for for the inconvenience. Of course. Um, one second. Give me a few seconds. I'll, I'll try to. Okay, okay, that's to, fine. To yeah, WizIQ is there, Ramon. If you could call, uh, go back to WizIQ, to um, the head of WizIQ, and that's uh, Jekamar. He will help you. Okay, so that. Okay. And in the meantime, I'm going to try to screen share and go into uh, my website and just show the virus that I have while you're doing that. Okay, um, so that okay. we don't you don't feel that we're wasting time by the way uh, virus has an incredible support system they provide support in um, great ways so that you don't feel that there isn't someone there helping you out okay it is open source let me just try to I'm gonna take you to um, Okay, let's hope that it works here. Yeah, it's working. All right, so let me take you to, I hope you'll be able to see this. Let, let me know in the chat box. You may find that everything has moved to the bottom left. If it has moved to the bottom left, uh, just pop it up, pop it back up, and you should uh, be able to see things. All right, so I'm going to go into uh, Moodle for teachers. This is where, by the way, the um, you'll be able to uh, learn how to MOOC and practice if you're a uh, an old timer or someone who has used uh, Moodle before as a teacher or administrator, of course. Okay, so we've got two courses for this Moodle MOOC. One is uh, for beginners, and the other one is for non-beginners. So here I am. This is uh, the Moodle MOOC. Okay, that's the first, the front page. I hope you're seeing that. And I'm going to go into one of the courses. I'll go into the uh, Moodle practice area where everybody's going to be practicing together. All right, this is it. You can see Tom is here on the left. I'm just going to go into turn editing on as someone with uh, editing rights and everybody here has editing rights if you don't please contact us and then I'm gonna go into add a new activity alright so I'm just gonna grab this section and um, as you can see it's not here alright so um, I'm just gonna go into an editor okay in this case it's just a label and then every editor on Moodle for Teachers has virus, but this is from math. Okay, so there it is. Okay, you can see, let me just make it larger. All right, so here is the, uh, the virus. You see it says virus editor. Okay, so basically uh, this is what it looks like and you can use it for math. I'm not a math teacher, even though, uh, okay, so there it is. That's probably the editor that you saw and this is how um, you can play around with it try it out so every single here there's the accept every single editor on Moodle for Teachers has this uh, virus was gracious enough to provide this with us and our team has installed it okay so that's what it looks like I'm gonna go back now okay into the classroom hopefully Ramon has figured things out if not, Ramon, I can uh, screen share for you. So that's what it looks like. If you didn't see it, you'll be able to see it on the recording on YouTube because I'm recording this on Camtasia and it'll be uploaded to YouTube. 
In addition, you'll be able to see this in the screen sharing when you watch the recording on WizIQ. And the recording for WizIQ is exactly the same. Okay, it's the same link that brought you here. That's what I want to know, Tom. That's my question. And that's what I would like to add. Okay, so the next stage is to add, I believe it's probably a plugin and it's not part of the editor. It would be nice to see it on the editor. Oh, here's Ramon. All right. Yes, Ramon, please uh, screen share. Thank you. So Ramon is in green uh, and I'm in. So I, 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 yes. I use an, another user. Okay. This, uh, I this see. time is Ramon myself. Okay. <laughs> so can you allow me sure. to yeah. share screen? Or? Yeah, all you have to do. I oh, I see. You're in as two people now. Is that what you're saying? Yes, I, 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 right. I simply joined with another laptop. Can I give you, can I give you, can we see you, Ramon, please? Can I give you a webcam rights or? Oh, yes, one second. All right, so. Yes, give me webcam rights. Great, thank you. And, and I want to thank you publicly for everything that you do and the fact that we have this, that you allowed us to use wires and add it to our editor. All right, so there we go. It's taking a few seconds, Ramon, there. Ah, Ramon, you didn't tell us where you are. Uh, Barcelona. Ah, Barcelona. Nice. Okay. And all right. So, Maria, we've got a lot of Spanish speakers here. Um, just so you know, Ramon. Hello, Ramon. All right. Great. Hello. Now we you? see you. Thank you. Thank you um, for coming yourself. Uh, Ramon, I understand that you're the man behind um, Virus. Well, I'm just man behind selling wires. You just sell. So I used to be behind <laughs> the engine myself somehow, but it's obviously now an eight people team. It's far more than myself, of course. And well, I'm just on the sales side of life. I'm going to take out the other. If you're getting getting echoes. I'm going to take away the rights from math. Is that okay, Ramon? Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm, in, I'm getting... I, You're I, getting I, echo. I'm probably getting... All right. You won't get it. I, I, okay. You shouldn't be getting echoes anymore. I, I took care of that. It, 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 it should be fine now. Yes, it is. It is. Yes, Let me I, just... I, I, I stopped the microphone. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to give you rights now. All right. Very good. Okay. So go ahead. I also took you off. So you shouldn't be getting any echoes unless you're recording this and then you will be getting echoes. Okay, so now you can try a screen sharing in the same way that okay. you did before. And by the way, Ramon, we've got plenty of time, so don't feel pressured. There's no one after you. So if we have to extend, we'll extend the session. All right? Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's like I, I, I moved to another one, but it's uh, this time is a Mac, so it's also a uh, non friendly uh, Java environment. So I, I'm trying. Because unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't get an answer from the. So, Ramon? At, at, at yeah, uh, Ramon, can, can you. Hear me well? Yeah, we can hear you. Do you want to give me rights? I mean, like, can I go in? If you could put the website, oh. I could go in for you and you could speak while I'm in. Okay, then. So, uh, if you go to wires.com slash, uh, uh, slash Moodle. Can you add that to the chat and then I just click on it? Add the full URL and I'll just click on it and go. And second, and and just like basically. it just makes it easier. Last movie. Yes, thank you. All right, so here I go, uh, Ramon. You'll be my voice to tell me when you are able to see this. Okay. You can see it. Oh, second, it's it's not there yet. It's not there yet. All right, that's because I haven't started screen sharing. I apologize. Oh, I think it should be okay. Now it went really fast. Somebody must have fixed my system. Yeah. All right, so now you can see. Myself. You should be able to see it now. Is that correct? Yes, I'm. I'm, I'm seeing it. Good. Well, I'm, I'm seeing your screen. So if you go to where is that Tom slash model? Okay, so this is like our just is like our landing page for everybody with with model solution. If you go a little bit uh, down the page, you will see. Uh, basically, if anyone here really wants to start using wireless. Uh, that is a page. So you have on the first column to the left uh, demos on Moodle 2, Moodle 1.9, and a standalone wireless quizzes demo, demo, but we are not going to use that. We do have 
a documentation column with how to install the plugin and how to install the quizzes, and then some downloads for you to, to simply download the components. Obviously, they trade to be connected. I, I would say that if we if we simply go to the to the demo site demo model two site, it's going to be easier. Okay, so um, that is basically a, a model site that it's um, beautiful. It's cleaned every night. So every 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 night I have a, a brand new version of it, and that means that uh, well you can you can simply. Uh, do whatever you want to do. If you go and press the login as teacher, uh, you will go into as an English teacher. If you see one language that you're more familiar with, like Spanish, uh, I see there are a lot of uh, Latin American attendees today, or you're Italian or French or whatever, or you're Catalan and myself, you can, you can have your own ones. So if you go into the bottom, uh, in the top one saying login as a teacher, under the languages, it's going to be easier. Okay, so we are in. So here we have uh, basically three courses. Uh, I, I'm, I'm only partially seeing uh, the screen, so I, I'm not sure if other people are having the same thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm seeing just part of, of your screen, nearly. What part are you um, seeing? I'm sorry. What part are you so seeing? I'm, I'm seeing to the right. I'm seeing, let's say, I'm missing the left part of it. Uh, if you move it a little bit more to the right, it's going to, like I'm. I'm seeing some strange things that I shouldn't be seeing. That's and, strange. Uh, okay, now, now, now it was it was better for a moment. Okay, uh, uh, maybe it takes well. time. Maybe it takes time um, because we all have. Okay, okay, it's, it's okay now. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes, it's it's very nice. Okay. So well, it totally disappeared. Everything. Um, it's strange. So it it, tend, it tends to see just like your 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 desktop uh, your desktop uh, to write with some items. I'm, I'm not saying exactly what what we. Okay, I'll tell you what I on. see. I don't know what everybody else is saying, but I'm recording this through Camtasia. It'll appear on YouTube. What we're seeing is the exact page. I see enter three times. Enter for the editor. Okay. I guess that's a course. Okay. No, no, no. It's now it's perfect. Now it's perfect. Maybe. So it takes time. You just move to. The... I didn't move okay, anything. <laughs> I didn't touch anything. Okay, but it takes time. Okay. 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 Perfect. So what we have here is basically three courses. In the first course, you will be able to play around with the editor with some samples of the editor. In the second course, you can play with the cache, and in the third course, you can you can play with the with the. Um, with the quiz solution, okay. So, uh, I, I would say if, if, uh, if you go into the editor, uh, which one? Course, can, can we go into the uh, quiz? The first one is yes. Which? Into the first, simply press the the enter button in the in the upper one. In ah, the, the editor. First one. Yes, the editor one. Okay. So we can we can slowly see what we have. Okay. It's going to be easier. All right. Okay, so uh, well, I'm still not seeing it, but basically, what what we have is the editor is basically uh, a new a new icon uh, included into the HTML editor in 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 your Moodle site. Okay, so if you turn editing on on the text or whatever. The the editor will appear as part of like a new icon to to. Okay, should I go into add a new activity or should I go into the editor virus editor? Editing editing whatever. So if you go into editing editing this virus editor insert from what well, visit visit the page. So if you click on virus editor. Okay, I'm there now. Here you see a text. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, it will appear at some point. It looks like it's a little bit slow. Okay, so what you see here is a, is a text where we have math formulas in, inside of it. The math formulas appear as an image. Um, there are different options and different ways of approaching mathematics in, in the digital world. Um, let's say that um, 
many, many solutions tend to go for JavaScript and showing the formulas. We, we still believe that the best way to guarantee the quality of the formulas that you're going to see is using formulas uh, as an image. That's the way we, we proceed. So you, you were seeing formulas as an image, and now we've moved into editing that page. Uh, what you're seeing now is basically the regular uh, text editor at uh, Moodle, but we have a couple of new icons in the bottom right part of the toolbar. There is like kind of a square root, uh, uh, a yellow bullet and kind of square root, and then the equal symbol in the square root, the, uh, sorry, the equal symbol to the right of the square root. So the square root is uh, to include a new formula with variator, and the equal symbols include a new math session with the calculator and so on. Okay. Uh, so if you simply press the editor, you will you will see the the, the editor appearing. And uh, press the square root, the square root one. Otherwise, it's going to be crazy. Okay. So uh, uh, some kind of pop-up window should appear to you. Okay, so here it is. The pop-up window is here. Um, you can create the formula, whatever you want. I don't know how to create element. formulas. So, I'm not a math teacher, square sorry. Root of x. So simply do square root of x. It's the square root is uh, <laughs> the second on the top. We'll do whatever. I mean, anything not to complete. We can simply okay. press a couple of buttons. I have the square root of x. OK, that's it. And then in the bottom part, I cannot see it on the screen, but I'm sure it's there. Uh, there is the accept button. OK, accept. OK, so if you accept, you'll see the description there. Right. So you see the image in, in, in the text. Excellent. Okay, here you are. That's beautiful. As, as you can see, as you can see, the, the formula is aligned with the text. That is uh, that may be obvious, but it's not obvious. So uh, when you when you have math formulas, uh, you you well you you typically need to align them in the right place. Uh, that is one of the things that uh, the regular Moodle solution doesn't offer. So formulas are typically not well aligned. And from time to time, you may think that the, the alienation is not, is not the best, but that's something it's not too critical. And then if you want to do something like simply re-editing a formula, you can simple, simply double click on it, and you will be able to re-edit. So if you can go down to an, a formula that was previously done the, in, the, in the X boxes that are in the bottom of the page, you can simply double click on them and you will be able to edit them, OK? So whichever function or uh, whichever formula that you find, if it's, it's funny enough. I'm getting, I think I'm getting the uh, WZQ people trying to call me. Uh, <laughs> oh, so yeah, OK. <laughs> so it's, it's a really crazy thing. So it's, it's, I'll, 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 we'll follow like this. <laughs> Okay. That's okay. This is so, life. Uh, life, Ramon. This is life. It's not. It's not a, a university class. Okay. It's very informal. So feel comfortable. Okay. Perfect. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, well, so that's. I, I'm. I'm hardly seeing. I'm hardly seeing the screen now. So it's, but I. I guess that you double clicked on a formula. I can, have the pop up. I have the pop-up and I have the formula, so I can uh, okay. edit it. I, I'm seeing, I'm seeing right now. I had to press a button in WYSIQ, and now it's feeding to the screen. Perfect. Oh, okay. okay. So you see the formula, and then you can modify it, and that that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's how you edit the formula. Uh, we can we can leave this. Uh, Ramon, now. Ramon, I um, have a question. I have a question. Yes. There's latex, and that always confuses me, the fact that there's latex and manual. So I understand that latex is the opposite of manual? No, 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 no. So what <laughs> so, is this? Uh, LaTeX, LaTeX is a language used by most scientific people to create math content. 
So mo most articles around are created with LaTeX. Uh, the point here is that uh, LaTeX people typically don't like using what you see is what you get uh, editors. So they don't like visual editors. They prefer to simply uh, write the the formula. I see. Uh, let's say with, on on with, with their with their keyboard. Okay. So if you if you leave this page and go back to the to the original one, uh, we will be able to see an example of 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 a LaTeX example. But I think probably it's not today is not the best moment to do it. I think we we'll try to get into the quizzes and stuff. So I would say that for those interested in LaTeX, we have LaTeX support. Okay, so uh, Wiris work, works very correctly with LaTeX. If you want LaTeX, uh, you will you will see uh, some examples if you go back into the the root of the uh, editor course. Uh, there is there are two links. So here you can see the latex one. So if you edit that page, uh, you will see that uh, instead of having used the equationator, uh, the visual equationator to, to edit that, um, you oh, will see. Oh, I see. I see now. It's like $2 the, uh, signs. Yeah. Yes, $2. Wow. Correct, one, two, two dollars. Yeah. So that's, that's, a, oh, that's a way. Latex people like to live their lives. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm proficient with LaTeX, but but oh. it's it's something that it's okay for people who are already trained with that. Mm. But it's typically not the best solution for for students. Exactly. Teacher, yeah, it's like it's say, like okay, wiki wiki markers, the old wiki markers. Yeah. I get it. It's like HTML, so, but in a different in a mathematical way. Yes. Got it. Yes. So it's it's LaTeX is the the regular de facto standard for writing mathematics. Uh, MathML is the official standard, and then you get a lot of uh, tools working with LaTeX. Uh, and but as I said, it, it, it's something it's okay. I mean, I'm 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 a math a mathematician myself, so I had to learn LaTeX to produce my my articles and so on. But it's not something like you you want to show your your students. I mean, it, it, it's going to be losing your time if you have to train them on how to. Uh, write formulas in LaTeX and so on. So I prefer not to not to use it very much. Uh, nearly one second. So the second tool is YVCIS, it's our online calculator. I would simply not go into that. I would go directly into the quiz scores so okay. that we can see the quiz scores uh, with some time. I know that we have plenty of time, but people also need to go home. Yes, of home course. And maybe they they have their own like they planned time for this so of course I, I would I would go directly to the quizzes uh, course mm -hmm. and okay so here we uh, if you go to the question bank so there is a li direct link to check the question to the question bank because uh, I never find the question bank in Moodle two so we 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 created a link here to go to the question bank directly okay so. Uh, what we have here is basically, uh, as I was saying before, we have a, a new bunch of questions in Moodle. So if you want to create a new question, and uh, yes, I think that you have to turn off editing because otherwise that's not working, probably. I'm not really sure, uh, nearly, but I think you have to turn off editing and then you can go to the, okay, so here we are, yes. So if you try to create a new question in in Moodle, in a Moodle where Wireless Quiz is installed, you will see uh, a new kind of question. Okay, that new kind of question is called why we uh, math and science uh, question. Uh, I'm not sure if you're trying to create a new question, Millie, or and this, there is some delay. Or can can you create a new question, please? What would you like me to go? Sorry, create a new uh, question. Create, create a, yes, firstly, create a new question. Okay. Stuff. Yes. It's in the middle. Yeah, I <laughs> got it. I got it. I'm just trying to move it. it. Doesn't seem to want to move. Okay, so it's it's not Jeff. It's not moving, which means it's not, the Ajax here. It doesn't move, right? Okay. Okay. So it's it's perfect. Uh, so you see, there is a, a a new kind of question called Math and Science by Wireless. If you select the Math and Science by Wireless, you will suddenly see. I simply select it. Wow, uh, that's little, beautiful. That's so beautiful. Uh, a bunch of new questions. Wow. Uh, we basically have produced the same questions that are available in Moodle. We have reproduced them into uh, our own system. 
because I will explain to us, okay, if you have a, a short answer, okay, we can produce short answers, but we can also produce um, uh, two and false questions in mathematics and all that stuff. So if we created like a list of, of all the new question types, it was a little bit uh, uncomfortable for, for our users. So we simply hide them here in, inside of this math and science test. Okay, so and 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 I think that we we, can, we there is no need for us to to go into creating one, so you can cancel this and we can go to uh, to see a simple example, okay, a very simple example of of what we have here. So if you if you can cancel nearly, and then you can go to the third question called answer simplified. Uh, that that would be great. Uh, you're talking about, can I go into um, yes. attempt to... If you, if you go into uh, showing uh, these, uh, the third question called uh, one hyphen answer simplified. Yes, I see it. Factorized, you mean simplified and factorized answer or answer, sim oh, answer simplified. Okay, I got it. And then I go move. What do well, I... You, you have, uh, no, you simply have to edit that question. I think you went back. Um, no, I'm in the right place. No, I went back, back. It, it'll okay, take you a few okay. seconds to see it. Okay, sorry. It's, it's, it's okay. No sorry is necessary. It's fine. Okay, so I'm in Answer Simplified, and then I go Move To, or where do I go with this? What happens now? Simply, simply uh, preview. So it's uh, there is in the second. No, in this uh, at, in the same row where you have Answer Simplified, there is a, an icon. Uh, with the uh, uh, yes here okay with, i go uh, into edit yes go okay. into edit all right okay i love this this is amazing I, i'm so happy that you're here um okay okay so uh um, okay now we're we're editing so we have a, so that that is one uh, uh a short answer by wireless so it looks exactly the same as a short answer in Moodle. So there is no learning curve for you because you are you're you're uh, you're uh, already used to the Moodle questions. So there is no uh, learning curve here. Okay. So what we have here is basically a regular question, but in the bottom, if you go down, you will see that the the answer. So the, the question is very simple. So it's uh, uh, the question is simply asking to, to calculate uh, the addition of two fractions and and to simplify the answer. Okay. And then in the answer, we have one answer being 3 divided by 4. And you can see that we have a, a thing that is near. So to the right of uh, 3 divided by 4, there is this uh, square root icon. And to the bottom of 3 divided by 4, we have these validation and variables. Okay? In the validation variables, we are saying that the answer must be mathematically equal to the right answer, but also the answer has to be simplified. In this case, if the answer is 3 divided by 4 and it's uh, simplified, we give you 100% uh, of the grade. If the answer, so if the student answers 3 divided by 4, but only gives a mathematically equal answer, that means that, uh, and in this case, the answer is simply not simplified. Uh, we will only give him a, a twenty percent of the of the grade. Ramon, okay. can you speak you, up? Your your voice yeah. seems to be getting lower and lower. Okay, sorry. Uh, Much better. I'll, I'll try to to speak louder. Thank you. It's better now. <laughs> yes. Just like I'm, it, it, it's a long time talking, and <laughs> my my mind tends to <laughs> that's okay. lower it a little bit. That's okay. Okay, so uh, so we have a question and two answers: three divided by four simplified and three divided by four not simplified. If you go down and and simply uh, well uh, review the question, it's well you can go down and say or do something like this. Uh, um, um, Go down to the hints. Is that what you mean? No, no. Simply uh, go to the bottom and, and say 
save the question or or whatever and, and, and or simply go or cancel cancel this editing and we can go to reviewing question and we will see how it works okay all right now i'm back to um the question bank okay then uh, to the right of the of, of the button that you pressed before there is this uh, uh, this little uh, one, one second so I have to go to okay it's like there is like a magnifying glass oh there is I was asking my colleagues here how to say magnifying glass in English. <laughs> Uh, okay, oh, I think nice. I'm lost. Okay, yeah. Okay, so there's a magnifying glass to the right here, and you can preview that question. I missed that. I don't have the magnifying glass. I don't know. I missed it for oh, some. Oh yes, you have it. Right. It's just to the left of this admin user thing. You can see. The and the admin. Glass. Well, there is a preview thing. No, no, no. It's it's if it, there is this in the same row where you can read answer simplified. There is a. Uh, I don't know how to go back thing. there. Okay, let me go back. And then. Here you mean. Then, I think I no, just messed up. Just in the middle, just right here. Yes, you. There is the second column is uh, the preview thing. I think I just got lost. No, I think you, you, you tried to create something new. No, um, let me let me go back. Oops, that's not where I want to go. Um, let me try to go back here. Over here, the mag. Okay, I'm back. Where is the okay, magnifying? So there is like a, a four rows of symbols that are all the same. Uh, um, or columns of symbols that are all the same. Uh, if you could write it just in the same column as uh, in the same row as answer simplified. I'll tell you where I am. I'm back in the answer simplified. Answer it and, and get to view the question. I don't know where. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to be. Sorry. I'm going back. Okay, now I'm on the question bank again. I did not see. Uh, uh, is the magnifying the magnifying? You mean to maximize the page? Is that what you meant? No, 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 no. no, no. no. One, one second. Okay. Let me check. I'm trying to give you a link on, on the chat. Okay. And it's going to be faster. Um, Hello, Pablo. Good to see you here. Facilitating legal English learning. You can say you mentor Pablo and not facilitate. I think mentoring is a lot better. The second gray icon. Second gray icon. Okay, let's see if I second gray icon um ramon are you still there Actually, I would like to see the quizzes mm -hmm. since I'm not a math teacher. I'm back on topic one. Can we go into attempt a, a quiz in English? We've got some English teachers here. I don't even know if we have a math teacher in the um, in the class right now. Okay. Okay, you can go attempt, attempt the quiz in English. It's going to be easy, no, no problem with that. Do you want me to go to attempt or to go into uh, edit? Attempt, right? 
Okay. No. No. Tempted. It's 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 going to be fine. I I, I think I'll. I'll... Okay, so what, what do we see here? Yeah, I, I see is, error. We see first of all. I see error. Oh. It said error. No, you go to the button preview quiz now. I try to attempt the quiz. It said error. So maybe I should go into edit. Or update? Uh, I think yeah, so. Yeah. yeah, okay. So I'm in um, as the editor of the quiz. Okay. Uh, no, 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 go back, go back. No, go, back. go back, okay. Let, let's, uh, let's keep it simple. Go back, go to uh, if we go back to eight seconds, yeah, go to the question bank. Maybe it's going to be here. So check the questions at the question bank. Question bank, okay. Yes. As editing or just to go in there? Go okay, there. I'm back. I'm back into the question bank. Okay. In the same row where you see, uh, I see there. Okay. In the same row where you see answer simplified, yes. there are four symbols. Right. Like a, a wheel. Oh, that, magnifier. that magnifying. You mean the preview. You mean preview? <laughs> you mean the icon is is a magnifying glass? Yes, but it's a preview. All but right. Okay. So you want me to go into the preview? Thing. Okay. Preview. Yeah. It's called the preview. Preview. Okay. Thank you. All right. You go to the preview. Yes. We'll see the question now. Now we're learning. We're learning. See, we're learning together. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> It's, 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 I'm, I'm really sorry for the you don't have to be it's, sorry it's, for it's, anything. This is life, and life is you don't need to be sorry for anything. Yes, okay. go so ahead. Unless you question. kill somebody, of course. So, yes. So you see the question: calculate the addition one and a half plus one and a fourth. Yeah. If you answer whatever I don't know, three divided by. Um, so if you answer right, three divided by. Um, Three divided by six. six, okay. Wow, look, ma'am. Look, mom, I'm doing math. Yes. Well, you're answering uh, math incorrectly. If you want math, mommy to do it, do three divided by four. Okay. It's going to be better for your mom. All right. If you simply. My mom's in the hospital. Okay, right. Okay, so uh, if you divide, do three divided by six, that's obviously, a, well, that's, that's a wrong answer. If you. Go a little bit down. Uh, if you well, if you if you try to to uh, submit and finish, press the submit and finish button. Update. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm I'm in a zone. Okay, I better go back. You're, you're fine. Then uh, there is a button uh, there saying there is first one saying start again, safe, filling correct responses, and then there is one saying submit and finish. So the teacher can actually practice doing this, anyways, as the teacher. Yes, that's that. This what we are seeing here is just a preview of the question. Okay. So that when you are all right uh, reading the question, you can see how it works. Okay. If, if you submit and finish this one, you will see the, this is the wrong answer, of course. It says, "Well and, done." The correct answer is, "It's I I did it right." Ah, I see what you mean. If okay, I had done it wrong, it changed, so I'm sorry. I did it. I'm sorry. Yes. No, 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 no. That, that's excellent. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you go. So if you, if you press the start again button, because uh, Moodle doesn't allow you to, to go back. attempt it again if you don't press the start again button. Okay. And then you, you simply write one plus, uh, instead of number three. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll write can, four, can, four, six. Uh, wherever. Whatever. Uh, and then one plus three divided by four. So one plus two divided by four is, is uh, 
well, it's not an option. You see, for example, that at some point where, where you write the wrong expression, there is a, a red box appearing. So as I was saying before, we have syntax checking. So if there is a, a syntax error in the in the in the answer of the student, you, the student sees a red box, so he knows that he's doing something really wrong. Okay. You mean in the process? In the process of doing the question, you'll get. Yes, in the process of, of answering the the question, if you create an expression that is absolutely incorrect, so I don't know, for example, if you open a parenthesis and don't close it, or you create a fraction with a, a denominator but you forget the the numerator, okay. then we put a, a red box saying, "Be careful, that is absolutely incorrect." Oh, okay. so what can I do? How can what can I do to make it absolutely wrong? Uh, uh, Open a parenthesis and simply don't close it. Create a open a parenthesis. Okay, so let's see. I don't know how. How can you do something wrong here? It, it's so logical. Well, no, no, it's, uh, it's if very you open hard. A and don't close it. Not with the not with the icon, but with your keyboard. Oh, now, okay. For example, Ah, okay, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Okay, I see what you mean. Let's say I go like this, and then I go like this, and then I go, uh, I don't know, okay, and then, um, and then yeah, I so go. No matter what, what you do, yeah. if, if the square root is, is empty, it's going to be a bad answer, so we, we put a, a red, a red, uh, red uh, mark there. So that's okay. the red that I see now. You mean the pink? It's a it's a pink highlight. Yes, it's pink. It's more pink. Okay, it's thank pink you. Rather than red. All right, got it. Got it. Excellent. This is amazing. Very good. I so love it. So that's one of the features that it has. So it has a uh, syntax checking for, for you. Okay. Yeah. So we've seen well. We've seen that if you answer three by four, it 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 sees that the answer is the correct one, and so on. Mm -hmm. So we've seen two of the features. So we can see that uh, on one hand. You can uh, randomly check, uh, sorry, automatically check the answer, and then on the other hand, you can you can have this help for the student because many students uh, fail at writing the expression. So we try to help them as much as possible at writing a, a good expression because otherwise it's going to fail. Okay. So now, if we if we close this um, this page, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll, I'll try to go directly to the the same version of this question but in a more advanced uh, uh, way. So if you close this one, I simply close the window. Yes, and go where? Uh, the red button in your Mac, uh, in your Safari browser. Okay, and then go to a question called uh, for random variables fractions edition. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. If you go and edit it. Ah, uh, edit, you, edit, okay, yeah. sorry. Edit. Okay. Is the first uh, to the left of the magnifier. Is uh, okay. He edit this. This question is exactly the same as, as the one that we've been seeing, but we've tried to generate random parameters for the question. So this time, instead of saying calculate the addition of one and a half and mm, three divided by four or something like this, we say calculate the addition of sharp p and sharp q. Okay. And then if you go to the bottom of the page, you will see that there is a... Is that part of it? No, uh, go, go down, go down. No, what down. is that sound? Oh my gosh. Do you hear okay, that? And here you have what is that sound? Wait. This, oh, I don't know what that sound was. Did you hear that sound? You didn't hear that sound. Hello? Uh, Ramon, are you there? Wow, that sounded like, wow, wow, wow. Ramon, did I lose anybody? Did I lose? Oh, I know what, the class ended. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was the class ended. I can't believe it. I didn't notice that the class was ending. Oh, what a shame. That was amazing. That was so amazing. 